Jank is the act of making your opponent block fire. a weak attack, then using that window to throw them. Against an unwary opponent, a sweeping victory can be achieved. I always hate but it. In right a competition, even technique can ruffle feathers. But I so love guys being prepared, theme even for death. What? Knowing that my Look opponent is room. this girl, I got nothing to fear. She's going got down. Got her corner? Uh oh. <laughs> she kicked the castle. Bro. What are you? Boom. Hey, what are you kids? Bro, she knocked him out. And I, I love that it was the ah, 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 ah. All right, let's get into this review for Highest Grower Girl. Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And today I'm doing a review on High Score Girl. Like you already saw in the reaction video that I did at the start of this video, I really love this anime and I'm ready to get into this review. And before I do that, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. So let's go ahead and get into this review. But before we do that, like D always says, podcast link down in the description, like, follow, subscribe. So now let's go ahead and get into this review. Like I said, I love this anime. I was recommended it by one of my good friends, Enduring Sunflower, who is somebody that I interviewed on my series that I have here on YouTube called Who's That Cosplayer? And I'll make sure that I have their interview at the end of this video so that way you can check it out and make sure that you follow them and whatnot because they're so talented in cosplay and costumes and doing the hair and all that stuff. Just make sure that you go follow them. So. Like I said, High Score Girl, it's an anime, it's on Netflix, they recommended it to me. And what got me hooked was that they told me that there was Street Fighter in it, there was Tekken, there was Mortal Kombat, pretty much all of the games that I played at the arcade when I was a kid. So of course I was gonna check this out, but what's weird is that I never heard about this anime. And when I, you know, look for videos on YouTube and stuff, there are videos out there, but there really isn't a lot of people that know about this anime or talk about it. So that's why I wanted to do a review. I know that there are some reviews on YouTube, but you know your boy, he had to put his two cents into it. So that's why I'm doing this video. So High Score Girl, it was created by Rensuke Ashikiri, and she started this anime, well, not the anime, the manga, sorry about that, back in October of 2010, and it ran all the way to September of 2018. The anime came out in July of 2018, and it ran all the way until December of 2019, and it also had three OVAs, which weren't on Netflix, and hopefully these OVAs do get dubbed, because I did enjoy the dub. Uh, I'm not uh, opposed to watching it sub. But there was just something about it where it's like, I just had to watch it dub because I did start watching this anime while I was working out at the gym. And, um, you know, when I'm working out at the gym, I was like, I want to be able to understand what everybody's saying without having to read it when I'm doing cardio. So yeah, but yeah, I'll definitely check it out sub just because I am finished watching it dub now. But uh, yeah hopefully those ovas get made and uh if not then hopefully i can watch them somehow and uh i can enjoy them because like i said i love this anime uh but yeah this anime is about haruo who is a gamer he's a nerd he loves the arcade and he's pretty much in there every single day and when he's not at the arcade he's at home playing his nes playing some of the older consoles that are out at the time. This does take place in the 90s, which is uh, a, a huge love letter to us kids that grew up in the 90s. And we spent, you know, almost every weekend in the arcades playing these video games. Like I said, Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, uh, the X-Men arcade game, Final Fight. Like these were some of the highlights of growing up in the 90s and just going to the arcade and interacting with new people. I remember like playing Street Fighter and you either kept on winning or you kept on losing. And you had that one person that just kept on defeating everybody. And that's pretty much what goes on in this anime with Haruo. He's a very talented arcade player when it comes to Street Fighter 2, which just came out of Japan. And one fateful day, he ends up fighting somebody who is playing a Zangief and they're really good. And that is Ono. And 
of course, Ono, she's a beast. And Haro, he's getting his ass kicked. And what does he do? He starts using a cheat tactic so that way that he can defeat her. And like you saw in the reaction video that I did at the start of this review, she gets pissed off, she kicks the arcade cabinet, and then she knocks him out. Like, that's how the anime starts. And it's like, it's just so much, it's fun. Like, I'm not I'm not a fan of, you know, uh, people beating on people and whatnot, but it was just so funny, you know, seeing her get so angry and kicking the console and uh, just going and knocking him out, which is, you know, something that I used to see in arcades back in the day. I mean, like, there are still arcades around nowadays, but... I just feel like back in the 90s and the early 2000s is when like the arcades were booming and there would be fights and there would be friendships. There would be friendships ending because of somebody losing in the video game. But anyway, like I said, Haru and Ono, they end up meeting each other. They find out that they're in the same class together. And one of the things that I love about this is that the series, it takes place, you know, showing them grow up together from the time that they first meet at the arcade until the time that they get into high school during season two. Um, now also, while this is uh, like a comedy, it also is a romantic comedy. Like there's romance in it, even though um, Haro is oblivious. Uh, ono, of course, you know, she likes him because he's a gamer just like she is. And then there's also a love triangle in this with somebody named Koharu, who is somebody that it was pretty much an introvert, but she ended up meeting Haruo and she ended up falling for him. But Haruo, like I said, because he is oblivious, he doesn't see that there is this other girl that likes him just like Ono likes him. And that creates this whole huge love triangle where Haruo is oblivious to both of the feelings that both of these women have towards him. And it just makes for a fun story. It makes for a fun comedy. Um, all of the video game consoles and uh, uh, arcade cabinets that you see in this anime, like it's gonna take you back. And the references that you get, like there's uh, stuff that happens at the start of some of the episodes where it shows you like what's going on in the world. Like uh, it showed when Bill Clinton went into office, it showed, uh, I believe when he, uh, got out of office and how time moves and then we get the PlayStation we get the Sega Saturn there is no mention of the Nintendo 64 which was kind of disappointing because that was my favorite console back in the 90s when I was growing up and uh yeah I highly recommend this anime check it out it's on Netflix season one and season two uh unfortunately like the because I said the manga it is over um Pretty much once you watch this, like that's it. And, but I highly recommend it. There is a new manga out called High Score Girl Dash, which is about Koharu. And it tells you about uh, how it is with her being an adult now. And I don't want to spoil anything because I want everybody to watch this anime. But um, yeah, highly recommend it. I'm going to check out that manga because I want to see what happens next. I want to see this story continue. And uh, it takes place in 2007 in High Score Girl Dash. So that's going to be interesting because I lived through 2007. And 2007 was not that great of a year. But maybe it's great in this manga. Who knows? So uh, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. Uh, check out the anime. I give it a 10 out of 10. Let me know if you have watched this anime or if you had read the manga. Let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know what your rating is for this series. And uh, yeah, you know where you can find me, your hero Benjamin Banks at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. And then you can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching this review. Make sure that you check out some more of our reviews that we have here on the channel, along with interviews and reaction videos. Our podcast has brand new episodes every Tuesday. And then the video of that episode is here on YouTube that Friday. So make sure you check those out too. So like I always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications.
Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.